another quick one for you guys. Your feelings are not facts. Let's hop right into it. Oh, I don't feel like doing this work. I don't feel like pushing more. I want to give up. I don't want to do this anymore. I'm tired. I think I'm not good enough. Feelings are not facts. The fact of the matter is, whether you feel good or not, time to put in the work. Whether you want to do it or not, because your baby, your baby toe hurts and your pinky toe is hurting and this and that. The fact of the matter is, it's time to put in the work. The feelings don't, what, what is the, what is the feelings? The feelings don't justify anything. The feelings are not facts. Regardless of how you feel, I don't feel like always going to the, the gym. I don't feel like always going to see this next property. I don't feel like always making this call. I don't feel like, I can go down a list of things of how and what I don't feel like doing. I feel like giving up when my mother died. I felt like the world was, was over. Is that facts? Maybe at the time when I was saying it, I thought, yeah, that's, that's, that's facts. Fact is, I don't, I can't go on anymore. So that was facts. And obviously, it's false. How I felt wasn't the truth. And I was letting your feelings, you're letting your feelings consume you way too much. We must go on. We owe it to ourselves to keep going. We owe it to ourselves, we owe it to people who are no longer here to keep going, to keep striving, to keep pushing. So the next time you feel like, I don't want to, well, what do you need to do? Because I scream discipline. I tell you guys about discipline, but the commitment, the commitment is when the excitement is over when it's dreary, when it's dark, when it's cold, when it's lonely, when it's just you and you're still doing what you need to do. That says a lot. That's the powerful part. That's the powerful part. I'm telling you, I have to scream it to myself every day. We talk about the early wake up time that is me now preparing and prepping my mind to go into discipline and commitment and raising the bar. The gym is a hack. It's a tool, like I've said before. Not so I'm building up my external. It's I'm getting rid of. I'm pushing a lot of the negative out. And I'm bringing in, okay, What's the mission today? The mission, that's why I call it a mission. I don't have a to-do list. I don't look at it like, oh, what's on the agenda? No. What's the mission today? I want us to be more militant. It just gives me a little bit more of that, ah, uh, when I look at it like that. And when I have that, that mission list, then when I'm in the gym, pushing out all the negativity, and now going into, okay, the mission at, at hand today. When I'm on the Stairmaster, when I'm, do, when I'm running, doing the cardio, sometimes it's not, like I said, it's no music. It's just, okay, what are we, what's, all right, how are we gonna handle this today? Or when I am listening to a podcast, or if I am listening to something, it is usually a podcast because I wanna feed that mind. I wanna feed, feed, feed that energy that I need that's gonna help me with the mission. I tend to listen to reggae music. Re reggae music is the, you know, pretty much the majority of music that I listen to and oldies because the message in it feeds, it feeds, it feeds the mission at hand. So I want you guys to think about that. Your commitment, your commitment when the excitement is over, raise up your commitment. Raise up your discipline. Let's go.